What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and it's been a while since I've been able to do that particular intro. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a stun deck in 2022 running Vandal Gun, the Dark Dragon Lord. So make sure that you smash the living crap out of that subscribe button. We are so close to 700 subscribers, I can almost taste it just a little bit closer, and we'll be able to have our taste of 700 subscribers, and then we'll be shooting for 1,000 subscribers. So make sure that you're subscribed today and you can make me a very happy little panda bear. So what the hell does this card do? Man, on the Dark Dragon Lord is a 2,800 attack, 2,500 defense, Dark Dragon type monster. I think this thing is what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This thing's a level eight, so you can exceed with this bad boy. I have not played this card since like 2008, 2009, and it used to be played in old counter fairy decks uh, because you could just drop this guy out of nowhere and just cheese the opponent. So if you negate the activation of an opponent's spell or trap card or cards, plural, or opponent's monster effect or effects, plural, with a counter trap, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. If the summon this way, activate these effects and resolve in sequence depending on the type of card or cards negated by that counter trap. So spell, you can inflict 1500 damage to the, to the opponent, which is obviously good in time. Trap, you can target a card the opponent controls and pop it. And then monster, you can target a monster in your grave and special summon it. So you can get a monster, you can get that effect. Or if you negate a spell trap and monster effect, all with one counter trap, uh, then you get all three effects, which... Really isn't going to come up all that often, um, but playing multiple copies, maybe it will. So let's just dive on into this, shall we? So we're playing one Alpha, the Master of Beasts, one Ash Blossom, because I guess why not, two Banisher, one Pancratops, two Fossil Dina, one Ghost OD, three Inspector Border, because this card is busted AF, two Thunder King, and then two Vandal Gun. Yeah, the Vandal Gun is going to be a bit of a brick if you don't have a counter trap, like... It's going to happen, but I mean, look at how many counter traps you're playing. You're playing 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I mean, this is just utterly bananas. Uh, we're playing 1 Call by the Grave, 1 Feather Duster, 2 Duality, 1 Extra, 1 Prosperity, 1 Raigeki. I don't know if this guy was on a budget. I don't know if he's got some sort of deck profile uh, online or not. Uh, and actually, we're going to make a change on the fly because this is supposed to be uh, 3 Judgment. Uh, and two warning and two strike. I do apologize about that. Um, I don't know if, like, he was, like, balling out on a budget and, like, didn't have Lightning Storm, but yet he's got one Prosperity. So I don't know if, like, he couldn't afford three Prosperity, so he just played the one dual or the one extra and the two Duality. If it were me, honestly, I would cut the extra and play two Duality and two Prosperity, because especially in stun, like, yeah, drawing two is good, but I would rather see one of six. Like, that, that's, maybe that's just me. I could be wrong, but I feel like drawing two is good and getting one of three is good, but getting one of six is just strictly better. Um, and maybe Raigeki, because of the fact that people will mostly play their stuff in defense to play around Lightning Storm, so you know that the Raigeki is going to hit. Um, but yeah, uh, let, let me know in the comments what you think about that. For the traps, we're playing one Anti-Spell, three Crackdown, two Dark Bribe, one Macro, because we just don't want you to have a Grape, three Judgment, two Strike, two Warning, one Summon Limit, and one Unending Nightmare, uh, which is you can pay a thousand life points, target a face-up spell or trap on the field, and destroy it. You can only activate that effect once per chain, not once per turn, once per chain. So once you get that sucker face up, you can just keep on paying a thousand to pop the opponent's back row. Then we're playing two copies of Warning Points. So when a monster monsters is summoned this turn, that face-up monster monsters cannot attack. Its effects are negated. Also, it cannot be used as material for a fusion synchro exceeds or a link summon. Kind of like a trap hole that doesn't destroy the monster and instead just locks it out of being used for a summon. Like, you can literally only tribute it, which is really interesting. It can really lock the opponent out of plays. There was no side deck in the deck list, so maybe he'll have a video on YouTube with a side deck. Um, or he just didn't run a side deck, which I'm, I'm really like, WTF, how did you top with this and do well without a side deck? Because, I mean, already I'm seeing a shit ton of cards you could side out. Like, you could side out this, this, this these, this, 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 possibly this, probably not this, not this, not this, this you could, these you could, this you could, this you maybe could, these you maybe could, I mean, there's so many things you could side out in this deck to change things up. The extra deck is irrelevant AF, I just put it here just in case someone wanted to see it. We're playing one Steel Star regular, no idea what that card does, one Decode, uh, one Time Thief, because I guess it's a rank four that's good, uh, one Galaxy Destroyer, because... 
I don't know. We're just going to be like that. Uh, one Lightning, one Utopia Ray, one Utopia, one Dreadnought, Dreadnought, no idea what that does either. One Zombie Sign, no idea what that does either. Uh, Tachyon, uh, one Zeus, one Starboy, uh, one Don Dragster, one Keeper of the Sacred Tree, because we're totally going to synchro with our Hand Trap Monster, and one Coral of the Reef Dragon. Um... Yeah, I mean, maybe play more rank 8s in the extra deck so that you can, if you end up getting out two Vandal Gons, you can, you know, be cheesy. Um, but yeah, this is this is some wild shenanigans. Let's go ahead and do some test hands here. Uh, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, the extra is going to net you two because you're going to need to win the dice roll if you're playing this, which is going to hit you the Fossil Dine and the Summon Limit. Okay, so we play that. So our hand consists of three, four, five, this and this. So you set everything so three solemns and this and you summon the fossil dyna and give the opponent a middle finger you're sitting on basically what's an omni negates the opponent's playing with a five card hand they try and use a monster effect they're down to four they try and summon something they're down to three and you also have the summon limit so they're possibly playing with just a two card hand and you're going to be drawing into a strike on the next turn and you also have an alpha in your hand which is really adorable um yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. You know, I was testing something somewhat similar uh, that was in the OCG, but it was a stun deck that played King Tiger Wang Hu, um, which you could very easily side in this deck. And really, if you really wanted to smokescreen the opponent, you could play the Brave Engine in this. Like, the stun deck I was playing from the OCG played King Tiger, but it also played Fusion Destiny, and it also played the Brave Engine. Because think about it. You hit the Brave Engine, you end on the token, a Griffin in defense, the Dracoback equipped to the token, so you have a bounce on the next turn, the Griffin's going to be an Omni Negate, and then if you have, like, a Fossil Dino or a King Tiger on the board, backed up also with a DPE, unless they can break your board, you're going to win that game. Like, it's really shocking how good it is. Now, of course, the deck can brick, or you just got to go Fusion Destiny, play out DPE, and hope that your back row can win you the game. But, I mean, that's going to happen in any deck, some more than others. So, I'd be really curious to know if this dude actually had a side deck, or if he just said, screw it, and just went balls to the wall and not play a side. Um, or maybe he just forgot his side. But you could very easily side deck the Brave Engine in this. You could even side deck a little DPE engine in this and just smoke screen the opponent. There's a lot of things that you could do with this deck. So guys, please, let me know down in the comments below what you think about this. This is this is bonkers. Like, this really is like, who the hell in 2022 is playing one Prosperity with one x drive and one Raigeki? Like, what is this, 2007? Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.